For someone who travels as much as I do, I'm always looking for the latest, greatest travel products. But I gotta admit, I got a lot of them sitting in my closet and I never use them. But I do have some that I highly recommend and I'm gonna share them with you now. I will leave links to the products in the description below. And no, I am not sponsored by any of these products. Let's start with a simple travel product, the Carabiner. I always travel with a few of these hanging on my bag so I can attach various accessories to it. Especially when you are only packing a carry-on, it helps to be able to hang things from your duffel or backpack. Which brings me to my favorite travel pillow. This is a Tempur-Pedic travel pillow, which is made of dense memory foam. I think you can buy an overpriced pillowcase from Tempur-Pedic, but I just purchased a baby pillowcase on Amazon and it works perfectly. What is nice about this pillow is that it can be used for sleeping, lumbar back support, and as an arm or headrest. I've tried various inflatable or bean filled bags, but this is my favorite because it is much more substantial. It really does give my back support when sitting for a long trip. To travel with it, you roll it up, stuff it in the bag, and hook it onto your bag, so it's not taking up room in your luggage. Now this next product is one of my new favorites. It is a tiny little bag that weighs nothing and transforms into a sturdy backpack. I pack this in my bag and when I get to my destination I use it when touring around a city or hiking. Now this next product changed my travel life. I used to live in Detroit and in the winter I would need a coat to get to the airport and stay warm on the plane, but then I'd have to lug this heavy thing around when I got to a warmer climate. This jacket condenses into a neck pillow, which admittedly isn't the best neck pillow, but it does make it very portable. It has a snap on it, so you can wear it around your neck or snap it to your bag. The pillow transforms into a very lightweight but very warm puffy coat. Now I purchased mine from Toomey for about $100 many years ago, and I'm sure the price has probably doubled. So I sourced some very similar ones, a woman's version from Walmart and a man's version from Weatherproof, both reasonably priced. I always travel with an empty smoothie cup. Once I get through security at the airport, I fill it with water so that I have saved money and the planet for more plastics. Then when I get to my destination, I actually use it to make smoothies. I carry these travel packets of Shakeology that have all sorts of good nutrition in them. You just empty a packet into the cup, fill it ideally with some sort of milk, but water will also do. Shake it, and then if possible, put it in a mini fridge overnight. You then wake up to a cold smoothie in the morning. I like this cup because it is small, has a rounded inside, and has a hook so I can attach it with a carabiner to my bag. I stumbled across these foldable hangers and bought myself a pack. After I have my bag packed, I stuff a few in if there's room. There never seems to be enough hangers in hotel rooms, and I hate the kind that you can't take off the rod. Portable battery chargers. These are a must if you are taking lots of photos or video with your phone. I found myself in Australia with my phone constantly dying, so I purchased this Signet brand there, but there are numerous other brands that are equally good. Just make sure whatever you purchase is compatible with your phone or camera. They usually come with USB and phone outlets, and you can just plug into a wall or a USB port. When you look for one, look for one that is lightweight and has a lot of power, so you can charge your phone a couple times throughout the day. Walking sticks. Now there are many different kinds, but what I like about this particular brand is the portability of them. There are some that telescope, but these folding kinds can stick easily in a backpack, and then you only have to pull them out if you need them. They are adjustable and lock into place at an appropriate height for you. Packing cubes. I don't think you need to spend a lot of money on these. I got these off of eBags many years ago, and they have traveled all over the world with me. This set comes with three sizes. I like the fact that they have a mesh top so that you can see what is inside, and it doesn't add too much weight or bulk. I use one for lingerie, one for shirts, and one for pants. Now I never travel without a sleep mask because you never know what situation you're going to deal with. I hear a lot of people say they can't sleep with them, but I think that is because they haven't tried this brand. The mask is adjustable and so soft, you don't know you even have it on. I talk about selecting luggage in another video, but I did want to share this particular bag, which I really like. It is a Toomey four-wheeled bag that generally fits underneath the seat in front of you, which is huge. 
It opens in half so you can put a spare set of clothes on one side, and then it has pockets for all your electronics, cords, snacks, and whatnot. What I like best about this bag is that it is on wheels. I generally use it only when I am checking a bag so that I have something to wheel through the airport instead of lugging all my electronics and stuff on my shoulders or back. It has saved me from back pain over the years. Now, I purchased this bag many years ago for a little over a hundred bucks, so I was amazed when I saw the price is now $650. So I did a quick search for similar underseat bags and found a few models. There's one from Home Depot for $100, which I will share the link. My sister recently turned me on to this bar shampoo and conditioner. I've always been a proponent of traveling with bar soap in order to avoid carrying more liquids and again saving plastics from the environment. So I was happy to hear of these bar hair products. Another way to avoid packing liquid is to use tablet toothpaste. You just put a tablet in your mouth, chew it a bit, and then start brushing. And you only need to pack what you need for each trip, which lightens your load. I am also a proponent of see-through bags. I use these organza gift bags for jewelry, electronic cords, nail clippers, and other small items. They are cheap, incredibly lightweight, and you can buy them in various sizes. I used to travel for work quite a bit and had to pack some fairly heavy supplies. I purchased this handheld luggage scale and would recommend to keep one at home if you want to make sure your bag is under the weight limit. You just turn it on, put the strap through your luggage handle, hook it up, and then pick up the bag. Now generally when I travel, I don't concern myself too much with my hair, but if I'm traveling to an event where I need to dress up, these travel rollers are easy to pack. The brand is T3, and it comes in a carrying case. However, I don't pack the case. I take the bottom part out, which is fairly flat, and then I just put the curlers in empty spots around my bag. If you are packing tightly, you can bring just a few rollers and do your hair in stages. It's a great product and easier to pack than other travel rollers. And finally, I can't do a travel product video without mentioning these babies. They are travel bottles that are gushy and expand under airplane pressure without exploding in your bag. I've had several different brands and they all seem to work well. The link I provided is a set of four that comes in a clear plastic zipper bag, perfect for going through airport security. Again, I have links to the products in the description below. And if you have any products that you like, please share in the comments section. And if you'd like to follow my senior and solo travel journeys, please click subscribe below. Cheers!